Okay, we are given a polynomial of the fourth degree. Notice that it is centered about um, x equals four, and it tells us that all derivatives exist. So the first derivative, second derivative, et cetera. So first thing it wants us to find is f of four. So when we create these polynomials, we know that the first term, unless it's zero, should be f of four. So f of four is going to be seven. Then it's also asking us for the third derivative, and we know the third derivative is going to be contained in the term that has x to the third in it. So this has the third derivative embedded in there, but remember, this is how they created that term. This is the general formula. So we're really looking for this piece right here, so we can just solve this equation. We can divide these out, move the three factorial over, so really, negative 2 times 3 factorial is the third derivative. If you want to simplify it, it's the same as 12. Okay. Next, it says write the second degree polynomial for f prime. So remember this polynomial up here that they gave us is an approximation for f. So I'm going to find an approximation for f prime, and I'm just going to take the derivative of the polynomial. So the derivative of 7 will be 0. The derivative of negative 3x minus 4 is just negative 3. Then the next term, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. Same thing with the next term, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. And I want to get to a second degree, so this is it. And then I'm going to approximate what happens at 4.3. So I'm just plugging in 4.3 into here. Now. Because this is a short answer question, I would just leave your answer like this and be done. If you choose to punch it on your calculator, you get to negative 0.54. Okay. Next, I want the four degree polynomial for g of x, and g of x is really the antiderivative of f. And it's telling me that my final answer should be about four or centered at four again. So you'll have that x minus four in your answer again. Okay, so I'm gonna take the original function, f, and it says to integrate f of t. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite it in terms of t. So g of x is the antiderivative of f of t. So I'm gonna take that original polynomial and just replace it with t instead, so we don't confuse this x with that t there. And I know I only need to integrate the third degree, because when I integrate the third degree, I'm going to get to a fourth degree as my answer, and that's what I want to get. So I'm going to integrate this. So let's go ahead and take the antiderivative. So antiderivative 7 is 7t. And then just use the power rule everywhere, right? Add 1, divide by the power. And my bounds are 4 and x. Okay. So let's go ahead and now plug in my bounds. So I start by plugging in the upper bound. So all that happens is all the t's get it replaced with x's. And then we're going to subtract off what happens when I plug in the lower bound, which is 4. So my first number is 28. But then notice in all the other terms, all of these have a t minus 4, so when I plug in a 4, all those end up being 0. Okay, now here's the last thing we're going to look at. Notice it says you want a fourth degree polynomial, and I do have a fourth degree, but you want it to be centered about 4. So you want every piece that has that x to have that x minus 4. So notice these two terms right here, 7x minus 28. Really, that can be rewritten like this. So group those together, and now I have a polynomial that is centered about x equals 4. So this is the fourth degree that they're looking for. And the last question, can f of 3 be determined from the information that's given? So the only thing we have is this polynomial here, and the answer is no, right? We can only find information about f of 4 or f prime of 4, right, because it is centered at 4. We can only find approximations for f of 3. And the reason is because this function is centered at 4. If it was centered at 3, then we could pull that information.